Hey guys, it's Dave and Kathy and today we're opening the February BAM box. So this is the February BAM box. It is themed, do you remember what the theme was? Batman. The 90s. 90s. It's themed the 90s. Um, out of all the BAM boxes, I think my favorite has been the 80s box. The 80s box was my favorite box uh, from the BAM box, and I'm hoping for a good one. Okay. Now, I know you said you saw something in a Facebook group we're in, uh, Basement Geeks. Give them a little plug. Uh, created by Jason Tracy over at Tracy's Basement. Basement Geeks on Facebook. Go sub. I'm an admin there, too, so I can approve you and let you in. You saw some stuff in the Basement Geeks group that uh, doesn't make you think it's going to be that great. No. What did you say? That they were going to throw it in the garbage or run it over with their car. One of the two. I don't remember wow. what it That's was. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, all right. Now, Bambox the last couple months has had some hits and misses. I'm hoping it's good. If you want to check out your own Bambox, go to www.thebambox.com. You can go on there. You enter our code EDG10. Save yourself 10% on your first BAM box. So let's get into it. You ready? I'm ready. All right, you want to grab the pin? Super soaker. It's a super soaker. That's cool. It's a super soaker. That is a cool pin. Who didn't have a super soaker in the 90s? I had one. I had a few of them. I had the one with the backpack. I didn't that you filled that up and had the hose. That was awesome. So that's cool. Okay, so we're starting off. I don't think that's so bad. What do we got here? I don't know. Boston Creative Company. Boston Creative Company. Okay. It's a spoon. No soup for you. No soup for you. Seinfeld. Seinfeld. The soup Nazi. No soup for you. Okay. So it is a spoon that says no soup for you. Okay. Um, I was a big Seinfeld fan. Um, just a great show about nothing. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. One, the nose soup for you is a little crooked on the spoon, right? Mm, I mean, it's not centered. Um, it's not a spoon. I guess, would you use this? You could, I guess. I guess you could. I mean, I'm not going to save it. It'd be cool if it was signed by the soup Nazi. The guy who played mm. the soup Nazi. But, okay, so we got a spoon. No soup for you. All right. I'll grab the next thing. I'm going to grab this. All right. So it is a, a hockey puck. It is signed by somebody, and it has the bo the BAM box certificate of authenticity. And this kid, I recognize him from the Mighty Ducks. I don't know his name. It says this official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Averman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise during a private signing with the BAM box. All right, so there is the certificate, and let's check it out. Oh, it has a BAM sticker on it, BAM authentic, and there is his signature on a. This is a legit hockey puck. There you go. There's a the signature. And there is the BAM box sticker. Not so bad to put it on display. I don't know. I don't know if I would have liked somebody else from the mic, like Emilio Estevez. Yeah, or who yeah. was the other kid that was in there? There was another kid that... I don't know if I it wasn't Jonathan that. Brandis, right? Maybe. Was he in that? I've never... I don't know if I've ever seen it. He was great in Ladybugs. Ladybugs. What about you, Dangerfield? <laughs> I get no respect. I hate uh, him, though. You hated is who? Dead? Is he dead? John, Jonathan Brandis? No, Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield did that. Both of them did. He killed Jonathan himself. Can't, that well, I know. Jonathan Brandis killed himself. No, not Rodney. Rodney Dangerfield died. died. Yeah, no, he couldn't get any respect. Who? I didn't like, like him. He annoyed me. Oh, you, who? You don't like Rodney Dangerfield? No. Good. So that'll be the movie we watch. Back to school when it's my turn. So I had to watch that garbage. All right, grab something. What garbage? Grab something. Oh, really? A Thai beanie baby. Oh, my goodness. You know? These like, aren't even worth anything, though, anymore. Well, I mean... No, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of Thai, baby, Thai Beanie Babies back in the day. My grandmother was. It was just like she collected them and then buy them for me and my brother thinking we wanted them. And I'd be like, oh, cool. thanks. thanks. It's not even like... All right, so you got a Thai Beanie Baby. Beanie Babies were all the rage in the uh, 90s. So I figure if BAM Box is around 10 years from now, when they do the box of like the 2010s, we'll get, like, there'll be like a Funko Pop in it. Oh. <laughs> Since everybody Maybe. in the Funko community likes to compare them to Beanie Babies, even though I think... Pops are a million times better than what a Beanie Baby is because they're, you know, like this gets played out. It's a polar bear. It's 
But if I got a thing of Heisenberg, that ain't gonna get played out because I love Breaking Bad. Yeah. So there you go. We have a tie, Beanie Baby. Eh, okay. I can see so far why this box got some hate. All right, we have here. It looks like a might be a poster, and I see a Bam. I see a loose Bam certificate of authenticity here. So I'm gonna assume it's for this because honestly, that is the last thing in the box other than the little uh, booklet. So let's get into it. Okay, and it is. Celebrity Fight Match, the Moon Base Melee, the Fight for the Mojo, Dr. Evil vs. Austin Powers. Okay, uh, so it's a little take on like a, um, I don't know, is this, would this have a, signed oh it is signed. signed, yeah I see it's signed here. Now if that's signed by Michael Myers, that's awesome, if it's not signed by Michael, you know, Michael, Michael Myers, Mike Myers, um, you know, then that's going to be pretty pathetic. But it's a Austin Powers which came out in the late 90s, Austin Powers, that whole trilogy was awesome. Uh, Dr. Evil was... You didn't like that either? No. More movies Did you just you meet with. me? No, I didn't, I didn't know you didn't like any comedy at all. No, I don't like just Austin Powers. So, of course, like... smut like 50 Not Shades smut. of Grey. But there you go. It's like a fighter poster. The old school with Austin Powers versus Dr. Evil. It is signed right there by somebody. We is will find out is? now. I'm assuming because it's a signature. Yeah, this, this has to go with this because it's a signature, I would think. Okay. So, okay. Let's get into the, the booklet and see what we got here. So, the theme of the 90s... Um, not as impressed as I was with an 80s box. Mm -mm. Um, Bam box the last couple of months has been pretty bad. It's been pretty weak. Um, I was hoping the last box I liked, I was hoping it would turn a corner, and this is kind of weak. This is really not a good box. But let's get into the booklet and let's see. Um, okay, so there were several different um, pins you could have gotten. And we'll look there. There's the Super Circle, which we got. You could have gotten the... Um, it looks like a... Are those Air Jordans? Oh no, those are the pump. Remember the pump shoes? Mm. You pumped up. And then there was a Furby. All right, then there were Beanie Babies from the 90s, commons and rares. Um, even if you had a rare, these things aren't worth anything. There you go. You could have gotten uh, one of those four. We got the bear. Actually, the polo bear's not even on here. No. Cause... All right, whatever. Uh, we got the puck, uh, which was signed by Matt Doherty from the Mighty Ducks. Nah. Would've been cool if it was Mila Restavez. Okay, then the celebrity fight match uh, photos. Oh, they had a few. First one I would've won was that one, the Bayside Brawl. It was oh, Zach Morris like versus AC Slater right back there. Here was um, Keanu Reeves, Neo, fighting Agent Smith from Matrix, which, I don't know, I was never the big fan of those movies. That was the 90s? Yeah, yeah, late 90s. And then there we go with Austin Powers versus Dr. Evil. All are numbered and signed by creator Josh Lamont. Oh. So it's created the put. See, that's no offense, Josh Lamont. I've had actually artists watch videos of mine where I tear apart their art. I'm not bashing the, I, no, the, art the artwork is nice, but let's be realistic. Um, we don't get this to get no offense, Josh Lamont, <laughs> but I rather have had it been signed by Mike Myers. That would have been awesome. Or maybe have, I don't know, even though who's the short dude? Yeah. Who's the little guy? Who's the little guy? In Austin Powers. He played Mini-Me. Then we get the Bam Box No Soup For You Custom Soup Spoons. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I can see why this box got ripped apart. Uh, not my favorite. Do you want to run it over with your car? No, I don't want to run it over with my car. Out of all the items, what's the one item you like the most? I don't like pins, and I have to say pins. I'm going to go with, and it's sad, and I always say this, it's sad with boxes when the pin or the um, the least amount, you could tell the, the cheapest item is the best. But yeah, I like the pin. Um, it's a super soaker. It reminds me of my childhood with my brother and my stepbrothers just going crazy with super soakers. This is okay, not bad, but... What are you going to do with that? I'm probably going to sell it on Lucko. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Bambox knows that they have been missing the mark the last couple of months. I really hope Adam, the CEO over there, uh, picks it up because the Bambox for a while, for about a good yeah, seven, eight months, was, really was the good. best box I was getting. And that was at a time when I was getting all the Funko Power boxes. I was getting Horror Block. I was getting Nerd Block. I was getting uh, T-Blocks. <laughs> so what'd you think? No. Overall? No, not good, right? Yeah, same here. Pin's the best thing. Pin is the only thing that we liked. Uh, I'm sure the, one of the girls will like this. I'll give it to one of them. Let them fight for it. <laughs> fight. Anyway, uh, that was the BAM box. Uh, next month's theme, if I am lucky enough to get one after this, <laughs> is indestructible. Sounds like it could be interesting. 
Uh, we'll see. I looked on their website. There's no pictures or anything of anything yet, so they haven't announced anything. But go over. If you go over to uh, www.thebandbox.com, order the indestructible box and enter our code EDG10, save 10%. Leave your comments below. Remember to hit up the red subscribe button. And you could follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At Everyday Geek TV. Remember what? You had a point to you. I'm sorry. I, I haven't done this in a while. At Everyday Geek TV. Thanks, guys. Adios. Bye.